Good morning. Trev, body mechanic from Absolute Fitness. Um, Friday, program two, week four. This is the last live workout that I'm running. Certainly for the time being, anyway. Um, other factors are take, taking effect and I need to, you know, get to doing them. I can't dedicate the time to this anymore. However, what we have done over eight weeks, we have run six different programs. Each program is designed to do something specific in relation to correct and bodily posture, strengthening the core, strengthening us for older age, help and prevent things like osteoporosis, help them to prevent hip issues, knee issues, uh, shoulder issues, neck issues. So there's been a lot of things going on in most programs, all designed to do that, okay? Some of the exercises you might have questioned how difficult they were and things, what's this workout about, but it was designed to help people from really, any age really, but certainly from 50 plus to live more active lives into very old age. That was the purpose of all the programs. I'm hoping you've enjoyed it. Um, we're gonna crack on and do our final workout. We've been doing this on a Friday for the last three weeks. Same principle, voice, uh, 50 seconds of exercise. Where we work one side, we'll work the other. So there's seven exercises per set, four sets as usual. We're a 20 second recovery in between. Okay, don't forget, posture, open that sternum and belly button up, that's our natural posture, that's how we should be wanting to walk around, yeah, adopting that, if you're proud, stick them out, simple as, alright, being unproud of yourself and hunching over, trying to protect yourself, yourself away from the rest of society, that's looking at, potential, or potentially looking at you as you're walking down the street, they're not really, yeah, that creates its own problems. So you need to think about body posture all the time. Stand up, be confident, okay? Other thing you need to think about, transverse abdominis, okay? That muscle is your fundamental postural muscle here. It, it gives part of the syndrical strength to your core and every single activity you do is involved in that core, all right? It's as simple as that. If you've never had a bad back, then you won't understand. Those that have had a bad back know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it doesn't matter from, you know, just bend down, pick something up, turning over in bed, whatever. That is involved. So having a strong core makes all the difference. And that's not banging out loads of sit-ups. Sit-ups is not a functional exercise. Being able to bend down, pick up, that's functional. Being able to stand and lift up, that's functional. Yeah? Sit-ups is, yeah, you've got a six-pack. Everybody has a six-pack, all right? Everybody's got it. It's about the layer of fat. You want your six-pack to show, get the fat off. Simple as. However, functionality is the key to longevity of life, okay, in exercises you do. So that's my rant set. We're going to get into our workout now. So we've got alternate angle lunges, so out to the front, to the side, to the back. We'll work one side, then we'll do the other side. We've then got our single arm diagonal rotation. So this is making the core work, yeah? We're throwing our weight, so you want your weight for that. One side, then the other. Then we're gonna have a wide squat with arms raised, yeah? Challenging that upper body in a more functional posture to keep us upright. You think when you sit down, what do you do? You hunch over as you sit down. No, stay upright and sit down. Yeah, and that's what that's going to do. And we've got some kneel and glute raise. So we're going to hammer the glutes, the hammies, lower back, because that helps pull us back into posture. And then the last one is we're going to strengthen the core syndrical shape by adopting our plank position. And then we're going to create an adverse load within the body because we cross through the body. Yeah, our body works from crossing over our muscle structures and it holds its strength that way. We don't hold it straight up and down. Yeah, when I hold a plank. So by literally putting myself in that position and having to tap, I create that issue. So my body has to work anti-rotation. Okay, 
Fantastic, that's the workout. Let's get into our warm up then. So, feet shoulder width apart, knees soft, abs brace, chest up, elevated. Let's start wiggling those arms to start with. Come on, let's make it a good one. It's the last one. Let's make it good. Sit and take it back. So, you've had your lecture for the day of how you should be, and back the other way. If you don't do it, well, you're suffering later life. It's as simple as that. And there's many of people in society that will show you that. Other way. Okay, from there, arms up the front. This is mobility work we're doing at the moment. We've got a little bit of uh, pulse raise in there, a little bit of muscle work, but predominantly mobility we're doing up to the side. That's it. Good. Okay, we'll turn sideways. You've seen us do this before. Bend down the hips, all open up. Bend down the hips, so it's a nice flat back. Take the arms up. Good. Getting all that upper body. Just roll those shoulders for me. See, we'll get these shoulders nice and low, big arm circles. Got good mobility going on in there now. So give me a wider stance. And hands by your sides. Go down the leg towards the foot. Come back up. Go down the leg towards the foot. Come back up. It's good. Nice and steady. Yeah. This time you're going to go to into between your legs. So down the floor. Look over your shoulder at the same time. Doesn't matter if you don't touch the floor. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Just look over your shoulder. See. This time, on sit foot, look over the shoulder. Bring it back up, right? And last one. That's it. Bring yourselves up, imaginary skip and rub. Keep skipping. Fun exercise into it when you think back to when you were at school and you were skipping, you used to play with the skip and rubs, trying to skip around and things. Obviously not the youth of today, but us, us older folk. Say, and go to that boxer skip. Start picking it up a little bit quicker. Okay, reach over with the bar, little squat squats. Nearly at target, heart rate for the warm up. It's good. Keep that chest elevated, head up. Most importantly, though, big smile. Look like you're enjoying it. I hope you are, anyway. See, and back to me, skipping. Let's go with double footed. Faster. See, waist. Squat all the way, back up. Say heart rate up where it should be now. We're at that target heart rate for a little warm up. It's good. And bring it out there. Okay. World's great stretch, sir. Done it loads of times. Right leg forward, so it's a big wide leap. Leading with the leg. Right elbow, as far forward as you can. Inside the leg. Really take it forward. Roll the hand up to the ceiling. Bring the front leg back straight. Body upright, drop that back knee down. Feel the stretch all down here now. Drive it back, opposite way. So you know what you're doing now? Shouldn't need to be telling you this stretch, we've been doing it now, this four weeks. Drive it back, opposite way. Roll it up. Tap the back knee. Bring it back. Drive it up. Sit back. Heel stretch on the, the tricep and the lat. Roll it up. Twist into the core. Straighten the front. Feel the hamstring. Body upright. Feel the hip flexor on the other side. 
Go. Once. One more each side then. Keep it going. Come on. And again. We're going to get into this workout. Remember, it's 50 seconds worth of work. And 20, 20 seconds recovery. You want your weights? I'm going to use my dumbbells again. Okay, so we're going to do a right leg lunge first. Okay. Get ready. Let's do it. Lunge, down, drive back. Lunge to the side. Drive back, take it back, take your back knee down. Drive forward, come forward. Make sure that front knee don't go in, that's the ankle low. Sit and back, take it back. Forward, all work in this right leg. Try and keep that chest as up as possible. One. 15 seconds left. Take it back. And forward. And again, the side. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. Let's get that rear one in. And back. Hold that dumbbells. I'm going to go the opposite way now. <coughs> get ready. Seven seconds. Let's do it. Left leg. Remember, make sure that front leg comes forward, but the knee doesn't go in advance of the ankle. You're dropping the back knee. Always the back knee. Yeah, so this time, drop the back knee, drive it back. Get them in quick, quick, quick. Time. Recover. So again, you still need your weights. Okay. This is the single arm rotation. Yeah, so we're challenging the corner. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Throw it up. Fire it back, throw it up, fire it back. That's it, it's good. Halfway. It's challenging the core in a rotational aspect. It's also Working a shoulder complex. So there we come. Opposite side. Best training effects come from the ease of any workout. So when you've took this down, you're launching it back like that. It's there's the eccentric face to slow it back down again. Three, two, one, let's do it.
Set. And you're going to leave your weights again. So a wide squat with shoulder press. What a wide shoulder press. Yeah. Two, one, two. So keep those shoulder blades back and back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep working it, come on. Keep working, come on. Sit to load down. You want your mat. So it's this knee will go, so you're gonna bring the knee in, take it out and hold. Okay? We're gonna do alternating knees. I'm gonna do it halfway. Well, this leg on this one. I've got a plan, so stay with me. Hard to hold it up for longer. Try and keep those hips level. Okay, next one is our special plank position with shoulder tap, remember? Five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. So hold, shoulder tap, keep those hips level, opposite side. So let's put our anti-rotation into it. Stabilise and strengthening that core in a plane direction. Don't let the hips raise up though. Our lunges. So you want your weights again. Right leg first. This is set number two. Let's do it. So right leg, drive it back to the side, drive it back, take it back, drive it up. Drop the back knee, remember. Let's keep it working. Okay, so we're going to do opposite side now. <clears throat> Let's get ready for it. 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go.
Let's do it. Remember, drop the back knee, always the back knee, not the front knee. The front knee shouldn't be over forwards at all. That's it, that's time. Lose a weight. We stay when we dumbbell this time. And we're at the rotational or diagonal rotation. I'm gonna use my 5kg this time. Three, two, one, let's do it. Throw it, drive it back. Make those muscles all work. Ten seconds to go. Well, less than that now. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Them down, but still need your weights. This is your wide squat with a uh, wide press, my overhead press. Okay, so wide squat position. Here we go. Do it. Squat down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, keep the body nice and upright. If you want it a bit harder, just hold it in that position. Want it easier? Either don't squat and just do the wide bit. Or oh, don't do the wide, the wide bit and just squat. Last ten seconds. Pull them down. Point your mat again. And we need them to organize. Let me tuck it in, extend it out. So left leg this time. Take it up. Try to keep those hips level. Try to keep your right hip. Over your right knee. Don't let the hip go the other way. Okay. 
Then halfway. And then down. So it's our plank uh, press up position with shoulder tap, anti rotation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. And let's keep hips level. Keep body all in alignment. Put that transverse abdominis on. Remember you're trying to stop yourself on the toilet. And you feel your transverse abdominis kick in. About 20 seconds to go. Don't let that bum stick in here. Keep that body all level. And done. It's good. All right, we're halfway through. That's halfway through. So you want your weights again? You're on the lunges. What we're going to do this time though, when we come to our single arm diagonal fly, get ready. Right leg lunge, drive it back to the side. When we do a single arm diagonal fly, we're only going to do the right arm this time, and then we're going to do two sets on our knee and glute raise. And then when we come to do the diagonal rotational fly again, we'll do it on our left arm. So then about three sets. Each. Our gloves will about three sets each. You get the gist anyway. So, okay, so we're going to do the opposite side. Get ready, 10 seconds to go. Two, one, let's do it. Let's keep that body as upright as you can. Remember, it's always the back knee that drops, not the front knee, you're extending forward. Lunge, I drop the back knee. Come back. I lunge, drop the back knee, keeping this body nice and upright. Well, we'll get one more set in. Great stuff. So let me keep on with it. So this is the, we're going to do right arm only this time. Our single arm diagonal flight rotation. Three, two, one, let's do it. Drive it down, throw it back. Make those abs work to do it. It's not coming from the shoulder, it's coming predominantly from the core. Keep it going, come on. 20 seconds to go.
Chcę co najmniej your wide squat with wide press. So you only two weights again. Four, three, two, one. Remember, squeeze those shoulder blades together. You want it harder? Sink in and hold it. Easier? Either just do the squats or just do the wide press. For that wide press, make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Come on, 20 seconds to go. Five seconds. And down. So our kneel and build raise. We're going to do both legs this time. So we're going to do right leg first. Then left. Here we go. Do it. Keep that hip over hip, I should say hip over knee. You're going to want to push the left hip way past the left knee. I don't want you to do that. That's all. Push that right foot up and out a bit. Yeah. If you need to, spread the load of your hands. But don't let that left hip go to the side of the left knee. You need it to stay above it. Keep it working. And down. Opposite side, next. So, opposite side, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. Same principle, keep that right hip over right knee now. That's what's challenging the core. If I let my right hip go over to the side of my right knee, I'm just counteracting the, back, the weight distribution. So I'm not having the desired effect I want. By challenging your core like this, this is what's making the exercise much harder. And down. Okay, plank press up. Position. With that shoulder tap. Okay, three, two, one, let's do it. So right arm first this time, then left. Body all in alignment. Don't stick that butt in the air. Get that transverse abdominus. Hips level. We're going to want to let a hip raise up. We don't want that. Halfway. Come on, this is where it starts fighting. They're getting hard. This is where we've got to work hard now. Keep those hips level. Keep that transverse abdominus on. Feel it. And just hold it there. And down. Superb. That's the third set done. Here we go then. Set number four. So you want your weights again? Back to 100.
Here we go, let's do it. Come on. Last set of these now. To this side, body nice and upright. Take it back. Put the back in. Come on, this is it, last set. And then we go. Come on, one more round of it. Let's do it. Front. Side. Reverse. And So we're for the opposite leg this time. Not the last time. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, let's go. Right, left leg this time. Remember, body legs are upright, drop the back knee. It's going to be a wide lunge though. Drop the back knee, drive it forward. Drive it back. The side, drive it back. Come on, one more round. Take it back. That's it. Lose one of your weights. Left arm this time, so our single arm diagonal fly rotation. Left arm. Four, three, two. One, let's do it. Use the core. Who's that? White squat. White squat with white shoulder press. You know your options on it now. Here we go, get ready. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Go, come on. 15 seconds left. Three exercises to go. Close then. Put your mat. Those hips level. Keep that hip, left hip over, left knee. Keep working, come on. Keep that focus on. Stabilizing that core. 
Going up halfway. Last 10 seconds. And down. We'll do the opposite side now. Left leg. This is your recovery. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Remember, keep that right hip over right knee. Keep those hips level. Make that core work. Come on, keep going. Last five seconds. Stay focused from it. And down. Okay. Last exercise. Our plank. Press up position. Family rotation. Shoulder tap. Four, three, two, one. Let's do it. 20 legs in line. Left arm first this time. Keep that body in line. Yeah, hips level all the time. Ten seconds gone. Yeah. Keep going, come on. That's halfway. Stick that butt in here. I know you want to, to make it easier, but don't do it. Stay focused, keep them all level. Come on, five seconds. And down. Get rid of the mat. Nice right, still. Told you, start side tapping for me. Good. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you've done it right, no sweat on like I have. Yeah, I sometimes sound like I'm blowing out my backside. I suffer with my sinuses. So I sometimes struggle to breathe through my nose properly. It's good, let's keep that going. Uh, I'm making it a little bit smaller, so plenty of air in. Good. And I'm matching on the spot. We'll start off with usual stretch, chest. So remember using your wall if you want, or using a door jam. Imagine this is a door jam. Yeah, put my arm against the door jam. I now step through, keep my shoulders in a straight line. Feel that stretch come on the chest. If I want to increase it, I'm going to turn the look over that shoulder and try to take this shoulder at an angle. That's it. Do that hell for me. Good. And relax out. Opposite side. Same again. Take it through. Through the door jab. Create a stretch. And you can turn the shoulder and push this folder over to that side this time. 
And relax that. Okay, so we'll stretch our right hip flexor. So again, using your door jam or in, in the wall, whatever. I'll do it as though I'm in, in a bit of space. Yeah, nice wide stance. So left leg forward, right leg back. Point it nice and upright. Drop the back knee down of the right leg. Yeah, dropping that knee down. Keep the body leaning back. What I'm going to do now is take my right hand on my head. And I'm going to turn and look over my left shoulder. Keep leaning down really backwards. And relax that. Swap round. Go the side. Same again. This time, drop the left knee down. Yeah, feel the stretch. Come on, leaning back. Left hand on the head, turning up diagonally over my right shoulder now, leaning diagonally backwards. And he's out of that. Okay, so we'll definitely target our quads now. So right heel up to bum. Yeah, two knees together. Use the wall or something for stability. Two knees together, body nice and upright. Push those hips forward. Keep the two knees together. Keep that heel up to your bum as much as possible. Really push those hips forward. Feel that stretch on those quads. And I'm going to relax that. Opposite side. That's it. Two knees together. Push those hips forward. Really push them forward. Keep the heel up to the bum. And two knees together. And relax that. Okay. Stretch your calves out. So using your wall, right leg back, left leg forward. So it's a wide stance. I'm keeping my body in line with that leg, so I should be in a nice straight line. If I was to stick a stick up and down my back, it should come straight with me all the way. Keeping my heel flat on the floor, or you put your load on the inside of your foot as well. And then bending from the ankle joint, you're going to take your head towards the wall. I bend from the ankle joint, not from the hip, so I'm not sticking my butt in the air. Feel that stretch, come on. That's it. And uh, relax that one, change legs. Same again. Keep that leg straight, body in line with that back leg. Feel the stretch, drive the heel into the floor. Put the load on the inside of the foot as well. Bend it from the ankle joint. Take your body forward towards the wall. Or your head towards the wall, I should say. Don't let that heel come off the floor though. And he's out of that. Stretch our reductors because they've had a bit of a working. So weights. Wide squat position. And then from there, keep the body nice and upright, squat down, as low as you can go, push the knees apart, and then try and squat into it a bit more. That's it, come up with that. We'll do our hamstrings. So feet shoulder width apart, two legs straight, turn. Big chest, open the sternum up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and come over so you have a nice flat back. Yeah, nice flat, tight back. Keep those shoulders squeezed together. Hold that position, keep the knees rolled in so the weight's on the inside of your foot. Big breath in, breathe out, and relax and pull a bit further. But you're bending from the hips. That's it. And relax that. Last stretch I want to do on stood up. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Right hand up to the sky. Really extend it up. Lean over to the left so you can feel that stretch already down the side. And then I want you to keep going to the side, but the only way to do that is to start turning the shoulders. We'll keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching, keep turning, keep reaching. Oh, feel the stretch of that lower back. Come out of that. Opposite side. Hand up, reach as high as you can. So you're lifting the shoulder up, over to the side. Same again, start turning the shoulders, start turning the shoulders. Feel that stretch in the lower back. As well as right down. Okay. 
Box out of that. Okay, always do the glutes. Always stretch those glutes now. Cross. Massively tighten up. You can tell if the glutes are a little bit tight by your foot pattern. So if you're ever walking on sand or something that'll show your foot pattern, look at what your feet are doing. If the feet are turning out, tight glutes. Tight external rotators. Ah. So, bum relatively close to the wall. Try and get your feet, ankles, shins, should say horizontal. Lie back, lift yourself up the floor with one leg. So I'll keep my right foot on the wall, left foot over the knee, or left ankle over the knee. And then what I'm going to do, if there's tightness there, what I'm going to do is I want to pull me in, which is like that. I want to pull me to the left. What I want to do from that position is take my right knee out a little bit. It increases that stretch a little bit on those glutes. Yeah, I'm going to lie back. There should always be a big gap between my back, lower back and the floor. I just want to lie there, let gravity take its effect. Nice, slow, big, deep breathing. Feel that stretch around those bones. Good, let's keep it up. Okay, swap feet, opposite side. Same again, take the left knee out this time. Feel that stretch on the glutes region. Nice big breaths in, breathe out. Good. Roll on that one. Last one, guys. You want your, your ball, tennis ball, hockey ball, cricket ball, whatever ball you've got. Yeah. Tennis balls are less forgiving, a little bit forgiving. These are no, don't forgive at all. All right. So, soft bit. Hip, top of your hip bone. Soft bit just below the top of that hip bone. Put the ball into it. Straighten the leg of the side of the ball. So, I'm bringing yourself up onto it and just wiggle around on it. Like so, bring yourself right over onto the side, so you get the ball between your hip joint and the top of your hip bone, into that tensor fascia lateral muscle. And then just roll it around into those glutes, glutes made them in. So you can, if you find a bit of a Point that's a little bit tender, just keep the ball on it for a little bit. I'm on one now and I'm getting a little pain running all the way down into my foot. And that's that, the pain subsided now. So it's doing its job well. I mean, you can take this right into the glute as well. Get into those little external rotators that we've just been stretching there. Opposite side. Same again. Roll it around, keep these hips in as best shape you possibly can. Okay, bring yourselves up. Lovely. Hope you've enjoyed the workouts, guys. Uh, it's been my pleasure delivering them. If you keep an eye on my YouTube channel, there may be other things that I throw up and put out there. Um, but from a core workout, live workout perspective, this was the last one, all right? 
Um, I may throw some more different type of call workouts up, up out there, but it won't be live. They'll be pre-recorded. Um, so watch this space. Keep watching. Hope you've enjoyed them. Keep doing them because it'll keep you in good shape for years to come. Better than going to the gym doing all these sit-ups and, and stuff like that. They're not functional. All right? What we've been doing is a lot of functional work, which will benefit you in old age. Okay? The earlier you start doing them, the better you'll be in old age. Doesn't mean to say you can't start in later life doing them, all right? Because I've specifically targeted them for the 50 category. Uh, but some of the exercises you can adapt and do in older age if you just start now. There's no reason why not. And it'll, it'll benefit you massively. All right, guys? I'm Tim Phillips, body mechanic of Absolute Fitness. It's been my pleasure. Enjoy.